This is Twit. We could talk about AI for hours, I suppose, because that's the big. I mean, you were only here like a few months ago, Craig, and 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 uh, it's like AI has has. There's always a topic. I, I don't know if you're familiar with um, uh, Don Norman, who wrote Things That Make Us Smart and Design of Everyday Things and stuff like that. He 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 once told me that um, that there's always a subject that is a black hole, meaning if you bring it up, the event horizon of the topic exceeds the dimensions of the room and all conversation falls into it and no light escapes. And I feel like AI is sort of that right now. But as long as we're on Europe, um, there's a story that the EU has this um, AI Act already, an amended act, an, an amended act. And by the way, the U.S. House is meeting today on on. Uh, AI and there is it's actually live if you want to <laughs> leave here and go there I don't recommend it but I got a note about that earlier um, but it, it said that this will have a significant impact on open source and I'm wondering um, if you're paying attention to that or if that matters to you much well I mean AI is just pattern matching I, I just made a bunch of people real mad by saying that <laughs> <laughs> um, statistics at a higher level um but I mean, I why like is AI, I mean, again, pattern matching somehow special and resolved from data collection laws, which is why the EU is put their new thing or privacy issues or copyright laws or fair act of derivative works and fair use act. Why are they somehow special? And they're not, they should be follow others, all the same other rules and laws that we have. I mean, AI, again, fuzzy logic, my, my rice cooker 20 years ago did that, right? That's just the same idea. <laughs> um, you could do it at much more things and you have semi sane ways of summarizing stuff, but, and it works great for translators. But yeah, I mean, we, we've been using it for kernel stable work for, I don't know, a decade now. Has anybody noticed? I don't know. Um, so wait, wait, um, wait. It, it solves a good, it solves a problem for some things. Yeah. When you're using it, what are you using? I mean, you're said pattern matching or statistics at so, a higher level. Which when we great pull when we have a stable, way. so Linus has a development tree, right? We add patches, nine changes an hour to that, and then we backport fixes to the, from that tree to our stable trees. Um, a lot of those changes are marked by developers saying this needs to be backported, right? Some whole subsystems and some people forget to mark those. Some don't even want to participate, so they don't. So uh, researcher Julia Lul, um in Paris came up with the idea of how about we take the body of work of these are known fixes for the kernel that developers have said these these should be backported and apply that to everything and see how they match up. And she had a research student go off and do that. They wrote some good papers. Sasha, um, who works with the stable, me, we do the stable work together, took that on, refined it and refined it and refined it some more. So now he runs these pattern matching logic. Basically, it's AI stuff on the kernel. And um, fix out all the patches that look like they need that are the fixes and manually reviews them, sends them off for other people to review and we add it, but we've been doing that for a long time. So again, I mean, they solve it's fuzzy logic match, say fuzzy matching, right? Um, they solve good problems that way, but we're not immune from an algorithm being, why should it not follow the same rules of data collection, fair use, copyright, et cetera, et cetera. And I think when people somehow think that this, this idea of the day can ignore all the laws is very dangerous for all sorts of other reasons because we live in a society by which we all need to follow these rules, right? So, so I'm, I'm wondering, I, I, I love this um, statistics at a higher level, panel, pattern matching. Um, and so, but there are lots of people out there, really reputable people, important people. You will know Harari, who is quoted by everybody. This is the end of the world. There we go generative AI becomes general AI becomes our overlords and the matrix comes true. And, and there's always this logical gap between it's all going to end and how it happens because how it happens is never described. <laughs> and does any of this concern you at all? Where I'm going with this though, is I, I love that you pointed out that the kernel is run by people. <laughs> it's individuals. It's a collection of individuals is not, um, beyond that an organization it's a commons of a sort but it's it's remarkably human in how it works and so i want to tease out in general i mean not just here um what is it that can, that can only be human that can never be pattern matching by a higher statistically adept machine 
I, I don't know. I mean, this is what philosophers have been discussing for decades or <laughs> centuries, right? I'm not, I'm not a philosophy major. I know there's people. I are. was, can't help okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so then, I mean, you, you have the rights. I mean, you have the, the discussion of what is the consciousness and what isn't the consciousness and, and all those discussions of what makes human, a man, person not human and the soul and all those things. I'm not going to answer that. I'll say from a technical point of view, if you look at technology, it's cool. It does statistical pattern matching. Is it a hot dog or not? Is it a tank or not? I mean, those type of things. And then applying those patterns to other things that a human asks it to do, right? Um, like, I would love for, uh, I mean, code autocomplete based on current patterns, but somebody has to write the code in the first place to be the autocompletion to do that. I mean, if you look at the chat GP stuff, they they just scraped the web. They scraped my, my domain, Linux.com also and stuff. And if you feed it thing questions based on articles I've written, it'll spit back those answers. Wonderful. That's a great summary. Think of it as a Wikipedia index, right? Um, but I mean, that's a, somebody had to create the summary in the first place. Who's going to make the new stuff from that is going to be the interesting point. Everything's a remix. Yes, that's what art is. But can it make the next logical step to do things in a way? I mean, they've messed with certain things they can do procedural generation of antennas, right? Maybe you can do that for art. I don't know. Somebody has to say, is this good or bad art? I don't know. But again, that's a philosophy argument. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> this episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. 94% of CIOs and CISOs agree that attracting and retaining talent is increasingly critical to their roles. ACI Learning empowers your team to thrive while investing in the security of your business. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for information on a free two-week trial for your team. 